We're now going to look at one of the really good features of using Google Classroom. You can use it to post announcements for your students in your class. So we're going to make an announcement now. So this is my class I'm in as a teacher, Attic Edu 1. So let's click on the plus. Now down here, we've got this option that says create announcement. So let's click on create announcement. Let's put an announcement in there. So here's my announcement. All right, what I want to do is I want to add a little video that goes along with this announcement. So I'm going to add a YouTube video. Now I can search for my YouTube video or I can get the URL. Now I have the video here, so I can take the URL here and then enter the URL into this screen. But equally, I could search for it. So it's going to find that and then we can add it. So that is now added to our announcement. If I want to, I can save this as a draft and then post it later. But for now, we are going to just post it. So there you go. There is my announcement on my front page of my classroom. Now, as a teacher, I can add to this if I want to. And then post. So now let's go in as a student and see what the student sees. So let's go to our student screen. Here is our student screen. Let's go to the stream and there is our announcement. I can click on the video that will take us straight to YouTube and I can watch the video. Equally, I can then add a comment to this announcement. And let's post. So this becomes a feed for your students within your classroom about the post that you have announced. Now, if I go back to the teacher view, if this was amongst a series of announcements and I wanted to re-announce it, I could go to this drop-down menu here and I could move it back to the top. Equally, I could edit and I can delete this announcement if I want to. As a teacher, I can click on this option from the announcement from another student. I can delete it or I can mute that student. So therefore, the student can no longer add to the announcements on that page. In addition, I could reply to that student by clicking on the reply button here, and then that will reply to that particular student. Now, when we go back to that student, here is the student, and you can see the student has come up here. And if I go to the email of this student as well, we can see that the student has had a response from the teacher saying, great comment. So when a teacher replies to any comment, the, the, the student will then get an email with that comment reply. In addition, the student can then go and reply to the teacher. And equally, the teacher will get an email saying that they've replied to the comment. Now, if we log in as another student to see what the other student can see. So here we have our other student, Attic Edu 3, and let's look at the stream. So now we're logged on as our second student, and we can see there are two comments here. So this second student can see everything that's on the wall and all the comments that have been posted and replied from the teacher. Students can see other students' comments, and teachers can see all the comments on that wall. So that is posting an announcement within Google Classroom.